Hello everyone, welcome to my Option Key webcast. I'm going to be going through how to install .NET Framework on Windows 7 Embedded. Uh, this should work for any embedded OS. So let's just get the properties here. So you can see here we have Windows Embedded Standard. We're on uh, just a trial here. So first thing I'm going to do is go and get Chrome. So this is just so we can uh, more quickly get the files that we need to get. Uh, there are two files we need to get, the .NET verification tool and the full .NET 3.5 framework. All right. So if you look here, There we go. I have everything right here uh, linked on my blog. So we'll go ahead and download the files that we need. So typically in Windows 7, you go into the control panel, programs, and remove Windows features. But in Embedded, this feature is disabled. So I'm downloading the full .NET 3.5 framework and the verification tool. So if you go through step by step uh, here, uh, you'll be able to install .NET 3.5 and 3, because 3 is a prerequisite to 3.5. So if I run the .NET verification tool, all I have is .NET Framework 2. So what we're going to want to do here is bring up a command prompt. And we'll go into our downloads directory and extract the files in the archive. Because if you try to do that now, it's just going to fail. See, it says you uh, have to use the Windows features, which is not permitted. And embedded. So let's open up the command prompt here. So there's our files there. 
So I'm going to extract everything to a folder called uh, net35. Oops, wrong switch. There we go. Okay, so you can see here I have net three five WCU.net framework. So What I'm going to do here is navigate into that folder. And I want to extract .NET FX 3.5 setup into the same directory that it's already in. So I'm going to fill this up with a whole bunch of files here. Wrong switch again. It's early in the morning. I haven't had my coffee. Give me a break. Ah, okay, there we go. So you can see I have all these files now. Now before I go ahead and uh, run the .NET framework, I need to install a couple things. Uh, this is since Windows 7 Embedded is 32-bit OS. I want to install NetFX30. These are some of the prerequisites. WCF. WCS and WF32. I also want to install registry connection tool. Now with all that done, now I can Install setup here. I want to run it in compatibility mode, Vista Service Pack 1, and run as administrator. And this should run through and load all the .NET uh, 3.5 files. So you can see here our .NET framework showing up. Looks great. It's installing. And it's worked, uh, done successfully. And now we'll just verify with our setup verification tool .NET verification utility here. So you can see we have .NET Service Pack 2, .NET Service Pack 2, 3, .NET Framework 3 Service Pack 2, and 3.5 Service Pack 1. We'll verify. That succeeded. Version 3. Succeeded. So that's everything you need to get .NET Framework 3. Point five loaded on Windows 7 embedded. I hope you found this uh, tutorial useful. Uh, please leave feedback uh, if you did. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Trevor Ty. And uh, have a great day.